Hi Aries, welcome to your June You versus Them Love Tower reading. So Aries, we're looking at you and your person, whoever you're thinking of, whoever's on your mind, no matter your situation or what you're going through or whatever it may be. We're going to take a look at your energy and their energy and see what is going on. Okay, we have the True Love reading cards here. So I'm going to pull a couple for you, a couple for them. Now, Aries, I'll be putting you here just to keep it simpler for me. You here and them here. But if you need to switch it at any time, please feel free. All right, so we've got the True Love cards here. So we're going to get a few for you, a few for them. And then we have two separate tarot decks. I have the Before Tarot for you and I have the Steampunk Tarot for them. And then we'll close it out with a few um, angel answers on each side and see what we need to know. But welcome, Aries. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome in and thank you. All right, Aries, let's see what we have for you. We have chivalry and creativity. Hmm. All right. Let's see what they have spiritual maturity in the gardener i'm feeling like this is some <laughs> now this is somebody you may be in a relationship with or you're dating you know every situation is different but i'm kind of feeling like that you need some spontaneity in this connection i'm kind of feeling like this person is like almost like the same old same old that's kind of what i feel like they believe in just you know the real tangible things the everyday things being stable and grounded and secure and smart practical and wise you know there's nothing wrong with that but you know it can get a little bit boring uh spiritual maturity i feel like this person um i know it's a spiritual but they may be very uh, philosophical too and you're like you know i need you to be more romantic i need you to be more spontaneous you know you know let's spice things up a little bit that's kind of what i'm feeling here we do have chivalry here so you know that's why i'm feeling like more you know maybe you've been in a connection or relationship for a while or maybe you're dating and it's getting more serious you're starting to realize hmm this person needs to spice things up a little bit that's kind of what i feel now that may not resonate for everybody but that's the vibes i'm getting here so far but let's see right Aries so let's see so I'm going to look at your energy first Aries and see what's going on for you and then we'll see what's going on for them you may be a little different from each other too I'm kind of feeling that as well but let's see all right Aries taking a look at your energy first what do we need to know Aries, let's see. Knight of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands. Let's see. Let's see, I'm gonna lay these out here. The Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you I, I feel I felt that. Like you feel like there's something lacking here. Hierophant reversed. Okay. All right, I'm starting to get the messages, but let's see. The world's the Four of Swords reversed. The Four of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you're starting to get bored in this connection. Queen of Swords. Ten of Wands. Queen of Wands. There you are, Aries. There you are. Eight of Wands in reverse. And the High Priestess reverse. I kind of feel like here, Aries, you're about to you definitely feel like there's something lacking i mean we do have the uh, five of pentacles here so we can't get around that feeling kind of blah bored maybe even with the four of cups on the five of pentacles I mean, we do have the four of swords reverse so i think you've been thinking about this a lot and i kind of see here you're ready to kind of just kind of tell this person especially if you think they have like commitment on their mind or taking this deeper or whatever the case may be um I feel like you're in no rush. I mean, we have the Knight of Pentacles here. You're in no rush to get into something deeper. And I think you're ready to tell this person, you know, I'm not sure if this is going to work because I feel like, uh, you know, either our energies don't match or, you know, you need to spice things up a little bit. You know, it's getting already getting a little like, oh, like yawn, you know, you may really like them and everything. Um, 
But I think before it gets too deep here, I mean, you have the Queen of Wands here. I, I feel like you're just going to tell them you're not, you may be even not sure if you want to continue this connection because of your feeling like it's kind of getting boring already. I keep getting that. So it's like until you see like another side of them, that's either more exciting or something changes. I think I'm, I'm almost feeling like you're going to tell this person, I'm not sure if I want to continue the relationship or let's just take it slower or let's just keep dating for now. Um, I feel like there's something here really weighing you down too with the Ten of Wands. I mean, this could be weighing heavily on your mind because you may really like them. You know, they could be really sweet. You know, they're nice. They Maybe they are chivalrous, but there's just something that's lacking. And you're like, I, I, don't, I just don't know if it's going to work. Because the Eight of Wands reverse could be about, you know, not really moving forward. And the High Priestess reverse is like, you're, you're just going to tell them. You're just going to tell them. In the world can be, you know, maybe there's distance at play, but you know, there doesn't have to be. But that could be endings and new beginnings, new cycles. <sighs> hmm. Let's see, we have Taurus, two cards of Taurus, Libra, Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio. We have you, Aries, right here, and Pisces. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I don't think you're just gonna like wait around and not say anything or just kind of you know let it just brew and not like really say what you're feeling or thinking the seven pentacles reversed magician though i mean there is a chance here for a new beginning but ten of cups will you really be happy you know maybe there's just something where you know it's not really like a really good match but we do have the five of swords in reverse so i don't feel any bad energies around this Knight of Swords here, too, and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. I mean, this, you know, don't settle. You know, you don't settle either because, you know, once you start to settle, Knight of Swords, things just take off really. I mean, that happened to me, and I am married, and I'm divorced now. So I settled. I said, well, I guess this is it. And I know I did not 100% truly was in love with this person, but I felt like, well, I guess this is just it for me. And that was 15 years of my life, and I've been divorced for like five years. So I'm just saying, don't settle. Don't settle. So you may really need to tell this person the truth, you know, of what you're feeling and thinking. Um, like, you're not sure. Queen of Pentacles Reverse and the Page of Swords can be really telling this person, like, I'm not sure if I want to take this into a deeper commitment. Wow. Well, this is a, a twist. <laughs> really. All right, well, let's see what's in their energy. Let's see what's in their energy. Because the hierarchy can be about commitments. I don't know if this is heading down the road to marriage or not, but, uh, you know, higher in reverse could be, no, not so much, but we'll see. And you could be, you know, really struggling with this. Maybe you don't want to hurt this person, or you don't want to be so blunt as to tell them, you know, especially if you've been either dating or kind of in a relationship for a while and you're like now i'm gonna tell him you know it's kind of what i'm feeling and maybe you're just like i don't know what to do you know but let's see uh, maybe they're feeling the same way hey you never know so let's see uh aries what's going on in their energy so if we get any repeating cards that's why i use two decks we got the steam punk tarot here well we got the star right away here huh Okay, we got the star right away on their side, but let's see what else. The Fool in reverse, though. Ace of Cups. Oh, okay. Seven of Pentacles. Now, we did see, we got, got it for you right there, but yours is in reverse. Strength. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Knight of Swords. Well, we saw that too on your side. On the bottom of the deck, I believe. Three of Pentacles in reverse. The Ten of Swords in reverse. Three of Swords. We do have strength here, though. The world. Now, you... Now, this isn't your energy. You may be feeling like they're feeling this way. I mean, that could be it, too. But uh, I was looking at your energy, but like I said, if you need to switch or you're like, well, I feel like this is how they're feeling. I mean, you, you go that aspect too. Let's see. Well, we got the world for them. We got the world for you. Four of swords reversed and you have the four of swords reversed. 
and justice. Oh my gosh. So I feel like this person, uh, yeah, this person definitely, I mean, the star is, you know, wish fulfillment and the ace of cups. I feel like they're just waiting like to make that big move. They definitely feel like there's something meant to be here, especially with the justice card. But we have the three of swords. Hmm. So. Now, I think I'm going to pull one more row on their side. Because, um, you know, the ones watching this always want more info on the other person. So, basically, so let's pull just one more row on their side. Just for a little extra clarity or info here. Let's see. Hangman in reverse. Eight of Wands. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Eight of Pentacles. Their Queen of Pentacles, yeah, this person really feels like, you know, this could really work with you. They want this commitment with you. They're ready to, they're getting ready here to take action, to offer something more, deeper, a commitment or something like that. But I don't think they've taken that leap yet with the Fool in Reverse. It's like they're kind of assessing this situation here with the Seven of Pentacles um, energy here before they make their move. But they definitely are hoping there's more to the story between you with the Ten of Swords reversed. Three of Pentacles in reverse, though, they have on their side. That's usually about, you know, not seeing the growth in something or something not growing. Um, I mean, they could be feeling like you're kind of at a stalemate right now and it's either time to level up the relationship or whatever the case may be. And the Knight of Swords, again, is, you know, very fast-paced energy moving forward quickly. And strength could be they feel the strong connection to you or they think they feel the strong connection to you. Um, that's overcoming too. Now the Knight of Swords can be maybe a little out of the left field, out of the blue. Um, but the Hangman, you know, is getting ready to take action after some thinking. And there's the action here with the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles. So they're definitely a hard worker. I mean, we have the Eight of Pentacles. We have that Gardner up there. Queen of Pentacles, very loyal, dedicated, trustworthy kind of energy. So, yeah, they've been thinking about Four Swords Reverse, but they're ready to speak their mind and what they want. But I'm not sure you are feeling the same way, Aries. I don't know. That's kind of what I feel here. Hmm. They've been thinking a lot about this, and they definitely feel like your they wish come true here with this uh, star here, and they definitely could see this going further, getting deeper. But you have your all the cards of commitment in reverse, so I'm just saying. So on this side we have Aquar two cards of Aquarius, um, Leo, Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio, Libra, Capricorn, Pisces. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Ace of Pentacles. Oh boy. Oh boy. Five of Cups. I don't think they want to. Don't want to. They don't want to lose you, and they definitely want to offer more. Two of Wands. Choosing a path together. Ace of Swords. They're ready to speak truth, clarity here. Knight of Wands. I feel like for some they haven't taken action yet, but they've definitely been thinking about it, um, and they're ready to come forward here and say you know exactly what they want. Again, another wish dream come true card here. Oh boy, so I kind of feel like here, Aries, if you're, if this is resonating for you and you're feeling this and you're like, ah, I feel like this person wants more, but I'm not sure if I'm feeling this, you know, I'm, I'm not quite, there needs to be a conversation here, especially if they go ahead and make the move and then you have to disappoint them. Hmm. Sorry, it's a pentacles right there. I'm uh, just saying. But let's get some angel answers and see. Um, we are in Gemini season right now. Um, you know, and I didn't get any, like, two of cups. I didn't get any lovers. I didn't get any, I didn't even get the temperance card here. I feel like it's a, it's a lot one-sided here where they're feeling this a whole lot more than the other person. Someone's feeling this a whole lot more than the other person, and they're ready to say they want more and take that next level up and the other person not really feeling it. I'm feeling it's you, Aries, but you can switch it if you want to. All right. But let's see what the angel answers have to say. Let's see what the angel answers have to say. 
But if it does resonate, Aries, please do give it a like, comment, all the great things. Be greatly appreciated. And also my website's below. So if you do want to check that out, everything you need to know is on there. My merch, my socials, my story to shop for yourself. And my wish list if you do want to send me something. Uh, but if you just want to check out the site, feel free. Be greatly appreciated. All right, Aries. So let's see. Um, let's get a couple on your side and see. No need to worry. Okay. All right, let's see. Communicate clearly, yeah. I feel like you may be worrying about this, like, ugh, I don't know, I don't know. But maybe you just need to have like a big conversation here. Um, but let's see what they have. Success, yeah, they're really believing that this is gonna work out. Um, ask for help from others. It's like they're not sure what to do. They know what they want to do. And they be they're believing here that this is going to go the way they want it to go. But, um, yeah, I felt you worrying about this, but there needs to be a lot of communication here. Especially if someone is not feeling the same way. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. I mean, we didn't even get any matches here. I mean, you had the Queen of Wands, which is our energy. They have the Queen of Pentacles, but we didn't get the Kings to the Queens. Uh... We didn't get anything like that. So, let's see. Let go. Oh, boy. <laughs> and then we got no behind. The, oh, my gosh. I'm not really feeling like this person's a bad person. I just feel like maybe, you know, maybe you, you know, start off kind of liking each other. Then once you got to know each other, you're like, well, you know, I, I kind of like them. But now that I kind of know them or I've been dating them, I'm not sure where we're a match but they're definitely feeling like you are so someone's got to communicate clearly here um that if someone wants to let go but on their side they have aces two aces so i mean i'm just saying and the fool is about a new beginning too although i ha don't think they've made the move yet but they clearly clearly want to take this to the next level aries all right, Aries, well, that's what I have for you. So I do hope that helped that resonated. Like I said, you could switch the energies around if you need to. Um, but wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time.